Hello Cancer, welcome to Love Reading. We're gonna be looking at what your person is currently thinking or feeling about you and what their intentions or next possible actions will be towards you or the connection. As always, these readings are meant to be general, so take what resonates for you, what applies to you. Let's jump right in for Cancer, Spirit, Angels, Guides. Messages, guidance for the sign of Cancer. Regarding the person they are thinking about, oh, there's the Wheel of Fortune, thinking about or connecting with at this time. What do we need to know about this person's intentions, energies towards Cancer? What do we need to know about their thoughts, feelings, energies? Cancer, what do we need to know? Their thoughts, energies, feelings towards cancer. Wow, the wheel of fortune. Yeah, I wanted to come out. There was a reason why I spotted it. Six of Pentacles and the Five of Pentacles. Okay, so the fool at the bottom of the deck. Um, I feel like this is somebody that is hoping to perhaps come out of the cold here. Um, for some reason, I'm not getting like, usually this card, the Five of Pentacles, is about like financial struggle, needing help, needing assistance, um, struggling out in the cold, um, and seeking help, seeking aid. But what I'm getting here, I don't know, it's almost like it's more about wanting to come in it's like they don't have access to you or there's a coldness right like they don't have um they can't reach you but they're hoping for a new beginning here the fool there's the five of cups behind that the fool so taking a risk a leap of faith wanting to go down a whole new path with you um maybe take this whole connection down a new path and i feel it's because there's a loss they're experiencing a loss here or have experienced a loss and all they're thinking about is how can i make this right um what do i have to do six of pentacles to turn this around let's get some energies out of here what else do we need to know about this person energies towards cancer what do we need to know we need to know about this person's energies towards cancer. What are this person's energies towards cancer? Love letter. A special message is on its way. We need to know. We need to know. No. Wedding bells. Wedding bells are ringing. Marriage commitment union. Bottom of the deck, secret admirers. So I think that this is somebody who they've been thinking about what to say. They've been having, maybe they're watching you or observing you in some way. Um, I don't know if it's at the gym, at work somewhere in some community area uh, but they're able to observe how you're doing this could be social media um, I think that as they watch you as they admire you from afar they're thinking about what to tell you and also they're thinking about a future here with wedding bells some of you you are married and this person can see it maybe you post videos of you and your partner or you post um, pictures that's for a small number of you but this person's very jealous about that <laughs> I mean, it's not funny, but I feel like it's kind of interesting to be jealous about something like that. Okay. That's only for some of you. Others of you, I feel like this is what they want with you. Commitment. What else do we need to know about this person's thoughts, energies, feelings towards cancer? We need to talk. Oh, yeah. They definitely want to talk to you about something. I think it's this new beginning that they want. I think that's part of the risk too, is reaching out to you, especially if you are already in a commitment. What do we need to know? What do we need to know about this person's thoughts? 
Philippines. Oh, I got two. I'm torn. I'm afraid. A lot of emotions here tied to this message. We need to talk. I think that they're torn or in afraid because all they can do. Is, okay, the message I'm getting is like all they can do is talk. And I don't in their mind, that's not enough. Bottom of the deck, I can't let you go. Yeah, that's not enough for this person. I think they're afraid of losing you for good. So let's clarify some of these. Tell me about this Wheel of Fortune. Tell me about this Wheel of Fortune. What do we need to know about the Wheel of Fortune? What do we need to know? Ace of Wands. Yeah, this is all about a whole new beginning. And there you are, can Cancer. And then the Fool wanted to show itself again. So this is all about moving forward with you, uh, moving your connection forward into a new cycle, having a new beginning with you. Um, I also am getting like, this is like a, um, a dream, a, a goal. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune. I'm torn. Hmm. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune. The High Priestess. Um, I think, yeah, and there, there's the lovers, bottom of the deck. I think that this person has kept this to themselves. Nine of Swords. I think they've been wanting to talk to you for a long time, Cancer. I'm talking to a Cancer who has not communicated with their person in a while. This person thinks it might be too late, that you might not feel the same. Now I'm thinking that that Six of Pentacles is that they have been apart from you for too long. Does Cancer feel the same? Does Cancer want what I want? Tell me about the Six of Pentacles. Two of Wands. Maybe they're back and forth about... I think I still okay. Hold on, let me get one more. Tell me about the six of Pent pentacles. I felt I still think that this is probably like the two ways this could go. Cancer and I could be together or not. Why is the six of pentacles here? The sun. One more. Three of swords. Exactly. <laughs> And then there's the two of swords. Exactly. So again, the two spectrums, the sun or the three of swords. This could go either way, depending on how cancer feels. Am I too late is what I just heard. Is it too late? Am I too late? Um, I also feel like this person might be feeling a bit stuck. This is that torn energy, undecided. Um, because if I'm not sure about what cancer feels, why am I going to risk, take that risk and open up or talk to them, send them a message? I think they fight with themselves a lot. I think in their mind, yes, I might make a fool of myself, but at least I will know. Or there's a good chance that cancer will not want anything to do with me but what if they do what if what if i'm wrong about that you know tell me about the five of pentacles why is the five of pentacles here why is the five of pentacles here the empress wow Yeah. They're looking at someone else. And for some reason, I'm getting this energy that this person is looking is on the outside looking in and they can't have what they want, which is I feel you. Tell me about the five of pentacles. 
they can't fully enjoy whatever it is that they have going on because you're not there. Tell me about the Five of Pentacles. You could be feeling this way as well. Yeah, that's my biggest wish. That's my biggest desire. And it's on the other side of fear. I could have what I want, but I'm too far from it. It's way in the distance, or I don't even have the key to open this door to let myself in. So let's see, what are their intentions next actions going to be? Tell me what this person's uh, intentions next actions are going to be towards cancer. What are this person's intentions? Next actions towards cancer. Next possible actions. Three of Pentacles, Page of Swords, yeah. King of Wands. We need to talk is very important here. Um, they definitely are observing you. They are able to see you on social media, online, in person somewhere. And they're like really, really drawn to you. King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I think they want to work things out. Three of Pentacles, they want to work on things. But again, Five of Swords, I'm getting envy here for this card. I'm getting that this person, they feel like they have failed. The Five of Swords is really a card about, card about uh, failure and self-sabotage. It's someone that's not playing fair. And so nobody's going to have a fair fight with them or even face them. Um, there, People will walk away from this person. I think that, that you might have walked away from this person. And now you're probably somewhere or in a connection. And there's like this feeling of um, like, like they're coveting, they're, they're, they're envious. They want something with you that they can't have or that they don't have right now. Two of Pentacles, Knight of Swords. I think they're probably going to want to apologize for their behavior as well. But will you even care about that? Right? Like that's, that's really the problem here is I feel like they're afraid and they talk themselves out of talking to you. Um, but I wonder, you know, are they going to be more afraid of losing you than they are of speaking to you? Time will tell, I feel. But this is definitely somebody that's willing to at least um, take the take the chance with the King of Wands. The King of Wands, they're definitely um, the fearless, go for it type. They're usually very like charismatic, very um, attractive. This person could even work on themselves like physically or something, change something of their appearance to, to attract you or to be like, to look their best. I think they want to talk about how they've, they've had a change of heart. So that's what I have for you, Cancer. I hope you enjoyed this bonus reading. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to enter the giveaway for a personal reading. Um, all the details for that are in the description box. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in another video very soon. Take care.